Hi. Um, I'm at the Olympic Training Center. No, I'm not at the Olympic Training Center. I'm at a hotel for an event that is put on by the Olympic and Paralympic Training Center and presented by Toyota. Um, and I'm here just to support the Paralympics and um, there's like a watch party and we're gonna do, I'm gonna help coach like a wheelchair basketball clinic and just kind of like mingle with the families cause that's, that's the friends and family of the Paralympians are here to support and hang out. And um, they brought me in, which was really cool, and I did not expect that. Um, I quit the team last October because of mental health um, reasons, and I, I know it was the best decision for me. I know that I needed to, I needed to take that time for myself and I needed it then. I couldn't just put it off for another year. Um, so I don't have any regrets whatsoever. I have not thought, oh, I made a mistake for quitting the team um, at all. But, but it, it definitely is hard to, you know, be watching the Paralympics and um, have all those feelings come up of, man, I wish I was there. I wish I was there with my team. I wish I could help my team. Um, and I wish I could have pushed myself and, you know, there's, there's all that, but but I know that I did what I had to do to take care of myself and I'm in a way better place. I'm still, you know, working on a lot of things. Like we always will be, but I've learned things this year that I couldn't have possibly ever like the amount of effort and research and like self-evaluation and everything that I've done to be able to learn the things that I have. It's wild. Um, man, there's just so many. Like I probably should have bullet points and I apologize, but I don't. And someday I will have better videos, but I'm here and I wanted to make one and say that I'm so thankful that they brought me here, that they see value in me, whether I'm on the team or not, whether I quit the team because of mental health reasons, they still support me and believe in who I am. And that's that means a lot. And I felt that from you know the day they sent me the invitation, but that doesn't mean that like I wasn't worried about coming here and feeling kind of out of place or maybe being in my head and having anxiety and not being able to be fun and mingling with the family and friends and you know maybe even like running into you know facing some of not facing but I worried that people had opinions of me or judgments because of how I quit the team and mental health Clearly, we like it's not it's not understood or supported or in many ways and we have a long way to go but when I came here and I did see some of my teammates families they made me feel so good and so loved and I don't know that was that was a big healing moment I came alone and I'm not in Tokyo with my team. I'm watching them doing the things that I do wish I could have done, but I couldn't. And so that's, that's a hard pill to swallow, but that's a part of my healing process is facing that. And like I said, that's a part of the journey that I chose. 
Um, so I'm just gonna leave it at that and keep it short. I'm pretty confident that I just ramble, but it's because there's a lot of things I wanna say and I don't have that like motivation going through me to just get it and go, but well, I'm just gonna share this. Yeah. Oh, and I don't know what day this is for the antidepressant. I know it takes a while to get into your system, but I don't know. I feel, I feel like, like it's going to be okay. I feel like I made the decision to take this antidepressant when I did not want to get back on them. I was very scared of the withdrawals. I don't want to go through that again. But I came to a point where it was time and I don't know. So I did it. I did a low dose, 25 milligrams. I did that because of the things that I've learned this year, because I've learned to take control of my own mental health, which not everyone can do. And that's not something that should be expected from us when you're struggling with mental health. You can't be put in your hands. That is that is way too hard. I was, I was trying to be checked into a mental institution. Like I needed help plenty of times and I could not do this on my own. But this year gave me the ability to put in that work and drown for as long as I wanted to let myself drown for before I was ready to, you know, try whatever was next, whatever therapy, whatever treatment, whatever medication, whatever I felt like I was ready to try. I was able to do that because I had time and I had time because I eliminated all of the outside pressures. Um, and that helped me do a lot of self-discovery. Um, yeah, I don't know. But you know what? Like, I'm just going to post it because I'm going to stop caring what people think because it really doesn't matter. And people can watch this or they cannot watch it. And that's fine. Some people will think it's stupid and some people will say, thank you so much for sharing because now I feel like I'm not alone. And that is who I'm posting for. So I'm just going to get out of my own way and stop caring what people think. And I'm going to be me. And this video might not have a point, but it's my effort. So... Maybe I should try and keep it under 10 minutes every time. I don't know. If someone would just ask me a question on here, I could just talk about that question. But no one's asking me any questions. I mean, I only have like 150 views on these, but, you know, give the girl a question, you know? Um, also, people might think that, like, if there was a placebo effect, if they watch other videos of when I'm severely depressed, like, well, how can she just be that good when she's that depressed? And obviously mental health is different for everyone. And my struggles are my struggles. And I knew that I was coming to this event a while ago. Like I was trying to prepare myself and I was freaking out and I went into plenty of severe depressive episodes just because I worried that I'm not gonna be okay or I'm not ready or like I'm too depressed I'm gonna bring everyone down like I, I what am I gonna do how am I gonna figure this out before I leave I want to get better I want to know do I take a medication do I not take the medication you know and that's why last week I made the decision because I want to enjoy this time I want to enjoy my life and 
there's a lot of stigma that keeps you from getting on any medication for mental health. And I, maybe that's wrong. Maybe we need to learn to accept medication a little more, but we don't have to do it at such high doses. Like, Choosing the dose of your antidepressant does not depend on how severe your depression is. It depends on how fast you metabolize the medication and then whatever other factors, like how much you weigh, I don't know. All I know is that if it was based on how severe your depression is, then the higher dose every time is like what I need. Like that's what I thought and that's wrong though. So there's a lot of things we have to do to learn for ourselves and make these decisions and take care of ourselves during them. And it's not easy, but I'm doing that. That's what I'm trying to do. So I'm going to get off this rambling thing. Maybe I'll make some points. Maybe someone could ask me a question. Probably going to get a lot of thumbs down on this one. And that's okay. Doesn't matter. Okay. Thanks for listening.